we have taken away abortion rights. That's right. Okay. But, again, doesn't affect my life. Right. I want to see the Jamie Foxx movie. On Friday, Bill Maher of Real Time with Bill Maher on HBO discussed how he is pissed about the Puritans. Really angry about the Puritans. So is he talking about the anti-intellectual movement that is banning books about race and queer issues in schools? No. Is he talking about the anti-trans movement that is causing all sorts of damage, even leading to kids being ripped away from their parents in Texas? No. Is he talking about the anti-women's rights movement that has just recently led to abortion rights being stripped away? No. No, Bill Maher is talking about the fact that he wants to see Jamie Foxx's movie that was shot in 2016 that has not released, and he really wants to see that movie. <laughs> so I got a couple of clips. This is so stupid. But look, I'm going to be fair. We're going to listen to his argument. He's not, I will say, completely wrong, but we will get there. But I got a couple, couple of clips here. Let me just start with this first clip where they begin this discussion. Right. I, I don't know. I, I, I take your point. I don't want to be scolded by left or right, but I'm still much more worried about, you know, original recipe Puritans than, than left wing Puritans, particularly. Well, I'm not. Particularly the ones who have I, power. Actually, I mean, I, I'm, actually, that's I'm not because those people never affected my life. I didn't care about the gay Teletubby. When Jerry Falwell attacked it, I'm not into the I'm Teletubbies. Sorry, who, who controls the Supreme Court right now? I want to see the Jamie Foxx movie. <laughs> that and you should. Yeah. affects my life. Jamie Foxx is great. It's about time he got a director's job to make his own movie. He finally did. It's with Robert Downey. He's great, too. I'm sure this movie is fucking awesome. But, uh, it's funny. But, and because a small group of people... It's, it's, it's your opinion. You think... I heard someone on TMZ say, well, I, I th the movie looks bad. It doesn't. It looks fucking great. Yeah, but there... And, I, I agree. And why should your opinion control what I see? I, I, I agree, but my concern is that this is much more widespread. You know, who, who's, who's taking the books out of the libraries right now? We will get to the books. We will get to the books. But look, this first... I got a second clip coming up. But this first clip already. Bill Maher, just, he comes off like a child. Here he, he's using his show, this massive platform on HBO, using a segment of his show to complain that he can't see the latest Jamie Foxx movie. <laughs> like, come on. You have to understand. Look, it's his show. He can do what he wants. But when you have a platform like this, you have the ability to, you know, potentially impact change, move things. You can... You, you know, if you want to complain about this, this the, we'll get to the movie in a second here. If you want to complain about this, I don't know, a tweet, a Facebook post would be sufficient. Maybe <laughs> use your show, use your the, the majority of what your platform is, use it to focus on issues that are actually impacting the lives of millions of people in a substantial way. Not being able to see the latest Jamie Foxx movie is, you know, at best a inconvenience <laughs> but to make it a focus and to have a whole discussion around how the left is cancel culture all this cancel culture when i discussed in the, in the intro all the real cancel culture going on is just absurd but let's let's just entertain bill maher's uh complaint here for a second about this movie so this is from yahoo news Jamie Foxx revealed to host Sean O'Connell that he believes one of his movies from 2016 has been shelved due to cancel culture and cultural appropriation. Quote, it's been tough with the lay of the land when it, uh, when it comes to comedy, he said in an interview with Cinema Blend. We're trying to break open the sensitive corners where people go back to laughing again. In a 2018 interview with Joe Rogan, the actor and comedian gave a gist of the film and the roles that were played. Quote, we all play different characters, he expressed. I play a white racist cop. Robert Downey Jr. plays a Mexican. Gerard Butler plays a Russian who loves gymnastics. He went on to add in the same interview that he called Downey Jr. to play the role. And although interested, he was a bit hesitant. So he goes on to say how, you know, Downey Jr. was a bit hesitant because of how it potentially may look of him playing a Mexican when he's not Mexican. Anyways, so this was, you know, similar kind of theme here, I guess, to Tropic Thunder. Um... And in some ways, I agree with Bill Maher. This is a comedy. This is supposed to be ridiculous on its face. I don't see an issue with this releasing this movie. Who gives a shit? On the other hand, who gives a shit? 
<laughs> like really, who gives a shit? Okay, there's a million movies. You, you, you can't see one movie. Who really cares? Like, even if this is an issue for you, you, you are a huge fan of, of Jamie Foxx. You want to see this movie. Okay, you have a political show that could have an impact on society in a beneficial way. Maybe focus on issues that you have not really focused on that are actually impacting people's lives in a serious and negative way. One example are those book bans. So school districts in 26 states have banned or opened investigations into more than 1,100 books, according to an April report from PEN America, a literary and free expression advocacy organization that compiled data on such bans from July 2021 to March. And you can see the map of the U.S. here. It's largely in, in more red states or states controlled by Republican legislatures where a lot of these bans are happening. A little more on what books are being banned. So banned books include Gender Queer, a memoir, a non-binary author's autobiography, The Handmaid's Tale, a book by Margaret Atwood, where a totalitarian society subjugates women, and Under My Hijab, an illustrated children's book by Hena Khan about women wearing traditional headscarves. Bands also included titles from long-established authors like Toni Morrison, whose book Beloved and The Bluest Eye, or polls from shelves in Florida, Georgia, and Kansas. And so going on here, they just say, 41% of the bans are tied to directives from state officials or elected lawmakers to investigate or remove books. Largely, um, this one Republican state lawmaker in Texas who sent a, a list of 850 books to school districts asking them to investigate for, quote, material that might make students feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress because of their race or sex. Now, I, I, I really feel like Bill Maher, if this was a Democrat doing this for other reasons, Bill Maher would be covering it. But because it's conservatives, this is whatever. Who cares? What really matters is the latest Jamie, or not even latest, the 2016 Jamie Foxx movie that has not been released. Look, uh, again, maybe he has at some point touched on this. But if you watch Bill Maher on any kind of consistent basis, you see what he complains about. It's all about so-called cancel culture from the left that is just crap like a, a new movie from Jamie Foxx as opposed to actual, you know, whether it's book bans, whether it's actual rights being stripped away, whether it's the obvious anti-trans movement that is having a massive negative impact on trans people, that stuff gets pushed aside in favor of him complaining about whatever if personally affects him as a conservative would. And we get to more on that in the second clip, which is ridiculous. But just quickly here, Another example of actual cancel culture. This is from Freedom uh, for All Americans that have, um, they've compiled this list of anti-LGBTQ legislation and there's over a hundred pieces across the US. So I'll link to this below the video. I've touched on this before in, in a previous video, but you can go through this. It is crazy just how many, um, how many pieces of legislation have gone after LGBTQ folk just for existing. And again, this is not the focus, of course, of Bill Maher. Now let's get to the second clip where he really goes to expose ultimately how he is influenced and, and what makes up his political viewpoints. And to, to BJ's point, which is very relevant, is there's an element of condescension here. Who has power in the, the commanding heights of culture? It's not the right. It is the left. Who, who and it's they who have a condescending who view of their audience. Who has a majority of the Supreme Court who, who can actually the exert Court this power. The Supreme Court doesn't make movies. Okay, but the, the, the Supreme... I mean, uh, or Orwell had it a little wrong. It's not the government that's big brother. It's social media. That's... The Supreme Court has, yes, of course, certain powers. I mean, well, obviously... Well, they're restricting people from having sex right now, effectively. Well, they're restricting abortion. I don't think they're restricting well, sex quite yet. I mean, they're... States are, are going to carry that through to restricting contra contraception access. Well, we hope not. Possibly, yes. There's all sorts of nuts who want to do all sorts of things. Let's stick to what's really happening. We have taken away abortion rights. That's right. Okay. But, again, doesn't affect my life. I ain't getting anybody pregnant. Well, I don't want to de-emphasize that. I mean, that does affect millions of people's yes. lives. It yes, is, it does. It and is... it's wrong. But we're talking about a specific thing. Why can't we just... <laughs> Why do we always have to go to the what about them? Yes, we admitted in the first minute here. There are still the Teletubby people right. out there. But this is a whole separate thing that's real and going on. Oh, man. So 
just like any standard conservative, Bill Maher is not impacted by the abortion, by abortion rights. So he doesn't care. Doesn't affect his life. Why should he care? He cares about the latest Jamie Foxx movie. That's what he wants to see. He wants to see Jamie Foxx in that movie. He really wants to see it. Abortion rights, eh, whatever. Trans rights, eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. What really matters? Jamie Foxx. I mean, even the conservative on the panel is like, well, we shouldn't de-emphasize the importance of abortion rights. I mean, even when the conservative guest on your panel is trying to stop you from sounding ridiculous, maybe you should check yourself a little bit. But this is standard garbage. Now, look, just to show you that there are things that the left does that I find, the so-called left, some of the left does, that I find stupid. Here's an example that I saw today. That this, this I find so dumb. <laughs> so this is from BuzzFeed. Harry Styles has commented on the allegations of queer baiting in a new interview. So because Harry Styles likes to, you know, dress like this sometimes, um, and he's not, he's not out as being gay or bi or anything, he's being accused of queer baiting. So we want cis men to be free to express themselves in ways that are not masculine traditionally. Yet when they do that, then they are accused of queer baiting. Now, to be clear, you know, this isn't the entirety of the left, but there are some portion of the left that is accusing Harry Styles of queer baiting. This is stupid, but am I going to spend, you know, the one video I do a day focused on that issue because of some people on Twitter saying this? No, it's dumb. I'm going to focus on or try to focus on things that are a little more important. Misinformation that's being spread out there, people's rights that are being stripped away, things that, you know, maybe have more of an impact on society. Bill Maher has a much larger platform than I do, but he is using his show as just a way to personally or complain about things that impact him personally, whether or not they impact society. I don't know. Again, his show, he can do what he wants, but I just find it kind of bizarre that when you have a platform like that and the ability to impact real change, that you're going to use it for your pet projects of wanting to see a movie you can't see, as opposed to trying to put something positive out into the world and maybe impact change in a, you know, a, a positive fashion. But he can do what he wants. His show, still, it's pretty damn stupid.